or school or before work. Make sure to like and subscribe, click the notification bell, all the usual things so you never miss any future uploads, and let's get started! For the first style, I'm going to start by doing a deep side part on the left side of my head. This will just help the braid be a little bit more dramatic if the part is a little bit deeper. And I'm also going to be spraying my hair with a medium hold hairspray just to keep the braid as smooth as possible. You could use a pomade or a hair wax. I didn't want to use anything too heavy since I am doing all four of these hairstyles in one sitting. So I'm just using a medium hold hairspray and I'm going to start by picking up a small section on the left side right near the hairline and I'm going to divide this into three smaller pieces. And since I'm doing a Dutch braid, I want to cross the side strands underneath the middle strand so the braid sits out on top of my hair. And after the first stitch, I'm going to begin incorporating new sections of hair into the braid. So I am bringing in hair on both sides. The top side will be from along the part line and then the bottom side will be from along my hairline. And I only brought in about three sections of hair just because I didn't want to have any bumps in the braid further back on my head. And I'm spraying it with hairspray as I go just to help smooth down any loose baby hairs since the braid is right along my hairline. And I'm going to be angling the braid towards the back of my head. So once I've brought in those three sections and the braid is behind my ear, I'm going to stop adding in hair and just continue braiding the section a little further down just because I want to have a little bit of length since I'm not quite sure exactly where I want to pin it yet. So once I've braided the section far enough back that I know I'll be okay where I pin it, I'm going to lay it around the side of my head. So I'm going to move some of the hair from the top of my head out of the way and secure the braid with a couple bobby pins. And what I like to do is slide the bobby pin into the braid and then kind of push it back up the braid so it's sitting underneath right along the braid. This will hide it underneath the hair so that it doesn't stick out anywhere and doesn't show and then the other hair won't get caught in the bobby pin and stick out. So once the braid is all pinned then I can let down the hair from the crown of my head and it will lay down and cover the very back of the braid. And then once that's all pinned, I can go back over the braid and make it a little bit wider. I always do this with my braids if I want them to show up better. So I'm just going to spray it with hairspray and kind of smooth down the edges. This will help smooth down flyaways if there's anything kind of sticking out. And then I'm just going to gently pull on the sides of the braids outward so the braid is a little bit wider. This is totally an extra step, but it always helps the braid show up better. For the second style, I'm going to be doing two braids along the top of my head with a little mini bun. So since I want them to both be about the same size, I'm going to do a middle part or close to it. I actually do mine slightly off center. I just find this a little more flattering. So then I'm going to do another part about an inch or so to the right of the middle part to divide off the hair that I want to use for my first braid. I'm also going to clip down the side hair that I won't be using. So then I'm just going to spray the section with hairspray and comb through it and then pick up my first piece for the braid. So I'm splitting this into three smaller pieces again and crossing the side strands under the middle strand. After the initial cross under on both sides, I'm going to begin incorporating new sections of hair into the braid. So I'm just crossing one side under the middle, picking up a new section of hair from the side of the braid and then crossing it under the middle strand as well. And I'm going to continue this pattern alternating between the left side and the right side, working my way along the top of my head, bringing in hair to both sides of the braid from along this section that I initially divided out until the braid reaches the back of my head at my crown. Then once I've brought in all of the hair from the section and the braid reaches the crown of my head, I'm going to continue the braid a little further down and then just clip it off to use later on. So once that braid is done, I'm going to do the same thing and create another Dutch braid right next to the first one on the opposite side. So I'm going to create another part line an inch or so over from the middle and then clip down the bottom hair so I don't bring it into the braid. And I'm spraying the section with some more hairspray and combing through it to smooth down any flyaway pieces. And then I'm going to pick up a small section near the hairline and divide it into three pieces for the braid. Again, I'm crossing the side strands under the middle strand and after the first stitch of the braid, I'm going to begin incorporating new sections of hair from along the braid and work my way towards the back of my crown. Once the braid reaches the crown of my head again and I've brought in all of the hair that I divided out from this section, then I'm just going to clip off the braid so it doesn't unravel. 
And now that both braids are done, I'm going to create the little bun at the crown of my head. So I'm going to pick up the ends of the braids and remove the clips that were holding them. I'm going to twist the two sections together and wrap them clockwise, creating a gap in the twist. And then I'm going to pull the ends through the gap to form a knot in the hair. And then I'm just going to continue wrapping the ends around the bun clockwise until it's all wrapped up in a spiral. And then I'm just going to grab a clear elastic band and wrap it over the bun to help secure it in place. And then I'm just going to take some bobby pins and pin down the edges of the bun. This will help create the shape that I want for my bun and it will also help hold it in place so that it doesn't fall loose. The next hairstyle is a headband style. So I'm going to start by brushing my hair away from my face and I'm picking up a small section right in front of my left ear. You can start on the left side or the right side, it doesn't matter, both will work. And I'm going to divide this piece into three smaller sections for my braid. Again, I'm doing a Dutch braid, so I'm going to be crossing the side strands under the middle strand and just alternate between crossing the left and right side strands under the middle strand. And as I go, I'm also going to be incorporating small pieces of hair into the braid. And for this particular style, I've noticed that I prefer to mostly bring in hair from along my hairline, so the front side of the braid, instead of from both the front and the back sides of the braid. Every few stitches of the braid, though, I will add in a tiny piece of hair to the back side of the braid. This will just help keep it anchored against my head. I don't want the back side of the braid to be able to completely lift up, but I don't want to bring in an equal amount of sections on both sides of the braid because I want the back side to be flush with the hair that's going straight back over the crown of my head. And I'm also bringing in smaller sections simply to keep the size of the braid on the smaller side and a little bit more symmetrical. You can bring in larger pieces or smaller pieces, but sometimes you start out small and then you get bigger. So if you just keep them all small, then the braid stays small and it looks a little bit more uniform. And then once the braid crosses over to the top of my head, I'm going to switch my hands so my left hand is in front of my face instead of next to it. This will help direct the hair so the braid stays closer to the head and goes towards the right side. And then you won't get weird bumps and gaps in the braid as well. And then once the hair reaches the right side of my head, I'm going to switch my hands again. So my left hand is going over my head and my right hand is next to my ear. Switching the positioning of your hands is very important because it will help determine the angle and direction that the braid is going and it will ensure that it'll lay flatter against the head once you're done. So as I continue the braid, I'm still incorporating small sections from along the hairline and just a couple extra pieces to the back side of the braid simply to help anchor it in place. And then once the braid reaches right above my right ear, I'm going to braid a few more stitches of the braid and then pin it in place. So I'm going to move some of the hair from the top of my head out of the way and secure the braid with a couple bobby pins. And again, I like to slide them underneath the braid so they're going upwards along the middle of the braid. This will be a really strong hold, keeping the braid in place while also hiding the bobby pins at the same time. So once it's all pinned, then I'm just going to lay a couple of pieces from the top of my head over the end of the braid to help hide it. For the fourth hairstyle, I'm going to be creating a Dutch braid along the top of my head. So I'm going to start by brushing all of my hair straight back from the hairline. And then I'm picking up a section for my braid right at the top of my head, right behind my forehead. So I'm going to divide this section into three pieces for my braid and I'm doing the same braid as before. So I'm crossing the side strands underneath the middle strand so the braid sits out on top of my head. So I'm just crossing the side strands under the middle strand and bringing in a new section on both sides right underneath the braid. And I did bring in hair from along my temples so the hair was pulled back from my face, but I also made sure to leave out enough hair that it covered my ears. I'm also using the same medium hold hairspray that I used before to keep the hair going into the braid smoother with less flyaway pieces sticking out. And for this style, I'm only going to incorporate about three sections of hair on both sides of my head. I just wanted to add in some hair from along the sides near my temples, but I also left out 
enough to cover my ears. This braid is a little bit bigger, that's why I'm bringing in larger sections and less sections. Based off where I'm starting the braid, I only need to bring in three sections of hair before it reaches the crown of my head. So I'm going to use a medium hold hairspray like I used before to keep the hair going into the braid smoother and just with less flyaway pieces. Then once the braid reaches the crown of my head, I'm going to tie off the end of the braid with a clear elastic band. 